So Jess is gone, and you're watching uh, Dance with the Stars. Yeah. Sounds like a party at your high, your place. And uh, Wednesday and Thursday it'll be Idol Night. Yeah, American Idol. Just song. Oh, I didn't think you meant the show. I just meant you sitting there, <laughs> oh, idle, idle. <laughs> yes, doing nothing, nothing with your life. <laughs> uh, uh, with, her, without, unless it's a personal thing or something, can I ask where, where she is? She's is, in Brazil on a work trip. Is she with <laughs> Is she with Obama? Holy shit! No, but she went on the same day. She is left she, on Friday. Is she Obama's squeeze? That doesn't sound good. That doesn't Brazil, sound good at all. A work trip. You know what goes on in Brazil for nine days. You heard what Rogan said. You know what Brazil yeah, is did. like? What do they get? I do. They get bit by what again? Or is it in cats? AIDS. No, <laughs> what was that thing he said? That fucking thing that fucking uh, it makes, it makes them... you everyone horny. Yeah, yeah I didn't like when he was talking about that. And aggressive. What was that again? I don't remember I exactly. I forgot. Was it rats and then the cats eat the rats and then it's the cat poo or something and yeah. now it's in 80% of the Brazilians? Damn. I, I'm so off on my facts, but it it's makes everyone like very... That, though. But Ant's right. It makes everyone very horny down there. Yeah, you yeah. gotta watch that for nine days. Yeah, she's with a lot of uh, work friends, so they're traveling. Guys. Oh boy, mainly girls, some guys. Oh, oh no. no, do you know what that's <laughs> like? That's it's Brazil. Like... You go to all another country, which culture is carnival, <laughs> and, and 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 there's guys involved. How do you allow this? Well, her boss is from Brazil. Oh my and he God. he flew uh, flew her up. <laughs> Because she, she's a pretty girl she's, and everything. She's beautiful. It's a work trip. It's business. But you know the stuff like doesn't matter. Uh, who you she, don't work twenty four hours. Who she sharing a hotel room with? She's in an apartment. In an apartment. Her boss has apartment. Oh, <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> Just everyone but, knocking on everyone's door uh -huh. at night after the work day so is over. Is there a group area to the apartment where everybody could kind of hang out? And there's several female about... coworkers with her. <laughs> In the Where, apartment. What about the men? That, I don't know. I don't know everybody who's in the I, apartment. How do you? Did you talk to her and say what are the sleeping arrangements? No, I didn't want to be. You know, I mean, sleeping be arrangements. She's, I'm sure she has her own bed. I would hope. How would you be sure of anything at I this point? Ask, oh my but God. You ever watch fucking uh, Real World and the Jersey Shore and I, things like that? I mean, you know, I can do. you picture that that green cam in the <laughs> right. bedroom <laughs> yeah. and somebody coming in night and, vision? Yeah, yeah. With this the blank, is how shit works. With the blankets going up real high. Yeah. Oh, you know what God. that means, right? Sexual intercourse. Some pile driving. <laughs> yeah. Did she go? Did she get a Brazilian before she went Brazilian? I don't think so. She no. would have had no reason to since she'll have her pants on the when whole time. When in Brazil. That's true. It was the Brazilians, though. Yeah, no, I think she'll have her pants on the whole time. Look, I, know, I know when you're in a relationship, you're supposed to be trusting, but... But yeah. that's really pushing but, I it. mean, maybe if she took a, a trip to Cleveland. No, Brazil. But Especially Brazil. right before, like, you know, you're engaged, so it's pre-marriage. So it's kind of like this might feel like her last... Well, she left her engagement bachelor. ring here because she didn't want somebody in Brazil to steal it. Are you making it up for the radio? No, I swear to God, it's in, it's in, it's in my Because she knows apartment. that crime runs rampant in Brazil. Brazil so she didn't want to wear Brazil. that with Diamond her. Diamond on her finger. So she left it home. She left it at home. Guaranteed. I asked her last night where it was. Guaranteeing when she, if she did bring the ring down there and took it off, she could lose it. Yeah, exactly. But guaranteeing yeah, yeah. that it won't be lost. And yeah. she'll be able to walk around Brazil this, without a ring on. This well, she sounds. Doesn't, she doesn't like, she said she hates not having the ring on. But oh, I bet. She doesn't want to get her finger cut off by somebody trying to get that diamond. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You ever see City of God? What, the, the Sam Roberts? Well, didn't you name the diamond? Oh, yeah, the Roberts Maker 6,000. <laughs> <laughs> everything, <laughs> everything needs a <laughs> some thousand after it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so she's down there in Brazil with men when does she and women uh, and, and no wedding ring. When does she check in? Check, what do you mean check in? She yeah, hasn't she checked calling? in yet? Checked in to where? Like, no, what, check in with you. Check in with you. Oh, yeah. We, Phone calls, we texts. Were on, we were yeah. emailing back and forth, and yesterday we were on iChat, webcamming. Oh, you were? Yes. Okay, now, that's with to, that... That's to make you feel comfortable. Were you able to look around a little bit? No, I mean, it's such a limited scope. She Why didn't, didn't move. she spin it around? She didn't, I don't there know. There could be a bunch of Brazilian fucking guys <laughs> on the other side of that fucking naked. laptop. <laughs> naked, just unclipped hogs. She, she spins it around, and there's just one... Nike 13 <laughs> oh, oh. in the corner. It's like, why is an anteater in your uh, apartment? It looks like Snuffleupagus. What I didn't is... hear any male voices. No? No. Was she doing this at all? Like, beforehand? No. But she was wearing the headphones with the mic, so wouldn't have picked everything. Oh, my Dude, God. Jordan why? and Scranton 
has written ha ha so many times on the screen right now. What? Oh. She left the engagement ring home and then ah as as, she as far as the eye could see. It's a very oh. nice ring. Steven Singer hooked me up. Yes, of course. And she doesn't want it to get stolen. Mm -hmm. I mean, we that have insurance sense. on it, but still, somebody could cut her finger off to get the ring. Yeah, yeah. What about the, her, their security and safety down there? Do, 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 you, do you feel a little bit? Do you know there are a lot of uh, kidnappings that go on? That's true. Um, because, uh, you know, people from the United States are worth cash. And she's a pretty girl, so it could be one of those fucking situations like that fucking... That girl there in Aruba. Luckily, she's not blonde, and she's somewhat olive-skinned, so when she travels, she sometimes does get confused for not being American. She blends in? And she speaks some Portuguese. Oh, my oh, yeah? God. So she can fit in with <laughs> so the culture she, a little bit. So she can speak well enough to make a hookup. <laughs> she emailed me this morning and said they went to dinner, and she ordered in Portuguese. And uh -huh. they thought she was a uh, uh, native. And she th and they thought she was adorable, is what they oh, thought. Oh, she's very good-looking, yeah. Oh, uh, let me oh. say hi to uh, Howard in Mississippi. Howard. Uh... Yeah, I just want to know how stupid it sounds. <laughs> oh. And this is coming from this guy <laughs> that has yeah. that Mississippi <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Even a Mississippi man ain't that damn stupid. <laughs> Listen, that's naive. I'm very secure. No, no, that's, no, that's realistic. If my wife would go somewhere and take either her wedding ring off or engagement ring, you only take it off for one reason, open season. No, it's open not right. open season. It's so... It doesn't get stolen, or her finger doesn't get cut off, or she doesn't get Sam, kidnapped. I can't Sam, wait. You, you will never get past the use part again. <laughs> I, oh. I love Howard. Thank you, Howard. I, I think she's going to come back from her Brazil trip. Yeah. yeah. Look at Sam and go, I don't need a bachelorette party anymore. Oh, I just I just oh. had one. I would, then I would start I just getting had suspicious. One. How many days? Nine. Nine days in uh, a lot of days. Oh. She'd be like, you know that uh, ring I left there? Yeah. Just take it back to Steven Singer. Oh, that one stinks. Yeah, Maybe you yeah. can get yourself a nicer TV. I don't. I, I'm not I, I have no use for that I'm anymore. not coming back from Brazil. <laughs> right. I'm very secure. She's with a lot of females. They're yeah. just having a fun time. They went up to the same statue that Obama was at, the big Christ statue yeah. on the mountain. Mm -hmm. They went there yesterday. They had a great time. Isn't that one of the wonders of the world? I think it is a wonder. She said yeah. it was wonderful. The big Jesus with his arms stretched out. Yeah. Yeah. What's some of those other wonders? <laughs> they <laughs> wonder pretty good. <laughs> uh, Machu Picchu. The pyramids. <laughs> what? The Great Barrier Reef. <laughs> the, the, the pyramids. But how, <laughs> how does she know that while she's gone, I'm not, you know, uh, yeah. what are getting you around? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, From that's... what I hear, you're having a genuine pisser yeah. alone in your house watching Dancing with the Stars. That's true. What did you do it. last night? You watched Dancing with the Stars by yourself, which is very suspect. Well, the cat the was there. Did oh, Ralph great. Macchio stop by after he danced? <laughs> <laughs> Why would he do that? I, I don't, don't know. know. <laughs> <laughs> what would we have to talk oh, about? I don't know. Uh, so, so what, what was your life uh, like last night without Jess, with Jess ordering fucking Brazilian food in their native tongue yeah. to, to waiters that are probably drooling over her? What were you doing? Well, I got home and I, was, I made some chicken. What kind of chicken? I just said, just a chicken breast. You put it, you grill it up. Uh-huh. It's okay. That's, you know, regular food. But then I realized that I don't really have any other food in the house. No Nothing for a side? I looked for some kind of vegetable or bread or even some lettuce. She left you with nothing in the house? Yeah, I didn't realize. I should have checked. Yeah, maybe. But mm. so I had popcorn. <laughs> Chicken and popcorn? That's all I had in the house. That's what you had? That's all I had. She's having some great <laughs> Brazilian food that she ordered and guaranteed the wine was flowing and stuff. I mean, they probably, and, and, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I swear to you, my 10-month-old son eats better than Sam already. Oh. Well, He's I, already eating more shit than you do. I'm going to try to get some vegetables today because now I know they're not there. But mm. usually Jess has you, some carrots and some bread and all this stuff ready to go. And you... <laughs> do you want to you know uh, about Brazil or what? We got people... Yeah, I mean, checking. I'd love to be right, more right, culture. Hold on a minute. We'll start with uh, Marcos and Yonkers. Marcos. Hey, good morning, boys. Good morning. Hey, Sam, look, I know you have a lot of haters, bro, but I'm not one of them. But I just want you to know Brazil is the orgy capital of the of world. Of course it is. Can't I can't I, believe I, you let your girl go over there, bro. I Come appreciate on. that, bro. Come on, Jess. Come <laughs> she's on. Not, Come a, on. She's not one of the Brazilian girls. No, no. no come on. No. no, come on. 
She's Come just there on. to see the sights. Come on, Jess. To work. She's very busy working. Yeah. It's a work trip. You know what? You know when you go to Hawaii and they give you one of those lays as a greeting? Yeah, sure. Oh, in boy. Brazil, the, in Brazil, it's like blowjobs and stuff. Yeah. Oh. Well, yeah. She's that's how giving. that's how your visit starts. Yep. I'll have to ask her about some of this, but I don't think wow. she's giving a. Well, this what, is tough. well, what would the equivalent be to the the woman there? That's what she's getting. Oh, I hope not. Oh yeah, that's that's a greeting down there. She's not. No, other people aren't supposed to be doing that, huh? Other people are not supposed to be doing that. Well, not supposed. All to. All right, let's say hi to Ron in Boston. This can't be good. It's coming from Boston. Hey, Ron. It might be supportive. What's up, Ron? What's up, boys? Hey, hey, did your Celtics beat the shit out of my Knicks last night? I don't know. I don't watch the. Uh, God, Black I can't find one guy in Boston <laughs> that watches the Celtics. <laughs> Why? Because they're too black, right? Yeah, if I want to get carjacked, I'll go to the. I'll go. I'll go watch don't the fucking Celtics. watch the Celtics up there Boston's for some reason. Great. Yeah, fucking the Knicks lost, I think, to the Celtics last night, and uh, yeah, we're not. I we're not doing well with uh, Carmelo Anthony. Anthony, he was uh, supposed to be the big, the big get for the I Knicks. I thought he was doing well when he first signed on. Nah, I started to hint that maybe we'll gel next year. That uh, oh, maybe boy. he got me a little too late in the season. Yeah. All right, whatever. What's up, Ron? Yeah, I just wanted to tell Sam that Jess left her wedding ring home because. She's getting thick. Oh, that's very. Oh. First of all, it's a vulgar way of talking. That is. Saying that, it. that is. And that second is, of all, oh, sorry. guys make out with Bob Kelly, so she's out getting some <laughs> real men. Is there like three or four hours where you just can't get a hold of her mm -hmm. at a time? Well, we just email pretty much because I mean she doesn't have yeah. cell phone service. She's out of the country. Oh, she doesn't have cell cell phone service. In. It's expensive <laughs> to make those international calls. <laughs> How does she not have cell service? Because it's international. It's international. Uh, yeah, it's very expensive. Don't you, they cells work? You I mean, they a, work, but you got to pay a whole bunch of money for international calling. Let's uh, uh, Nate in DC. We Nate, a satellite like phone. We don't have a satellite hey, phone. Up, you should get one. You really <laughs> go should. back, Good Nate. Stuff. Yes. Hey, what's up? Uh, real quick, the only uh, Portuguese she's speaking is I poppy while Sam's throwing out freaking hot dogs in the sink like Millhouse is dead. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think. Uh, first of all, I don't even need hot dogs. I poppy. Right now, Jess has a red and green paddle over her ass, and she's just flipping back and forth. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, I don't think. Sam. oh no. Sam. I mean, that's obviously this not guy, true. This oh. guy is, is feeling for you. Joe in Texas. Joe. Thank God. Sam. Literally, I'm not even playing. My stomach hurts for you. That's all I got to say. Well, thank What's you for the support. She went on a business trip with her boss. That's so Well, not just with her Have her you boss. watched fucking rom-coms, by the way? Yeah. Have you ever seen the one where the girl, she goes on a business trip, mm -hmm. and it's out of the country, it's yeah. far away, it's with a bunch of people, and she leaves the dicky boyfriend at home. I'm not dicky, though. I'm just <laughs> describing a sitcom. Oh, okay, rom -com. fair enough. Sorry. And, and, and she leaves the dicky, asshole, useless boyfriend at home, and, <laughs> and is just, like, annoyed to be going on this business trip. It's like, oh, God. But, and, and then she realizes the fun that she's having and the life that's opened up when she's not with this fucking piece of shit, boring asshole <laughs> at home. You're just talking about the movie still? Yeah, there's okay. the, the rom-com. <laughs> yeah, the and, and, then, and then she hooks up with somebody and... Uh, and then, you know, there's a little tension, and, and she's got to tell the, the complete loser at home. In the movie. In the movie. That uh, she doesn't want to see him anymore. And then they, uh, the couple that she, you know, the one she met mm -hmm. away, uh, they, they get along fine. Well, I mean, it sounds like an interesting plot for a movie, but I'm the what catch. Movie? No, he's at the, oh, oh, the movie. Oh, right. I was talking about a rom-com. Is no. her boss married? Yes. See. With children. But it's not just her and her boss. No, did, no, there's the other boss, guys. Did the boss bring the wife? Yeah, yes, yes. The whole family's there. You sure? I'm positive. So why didn't why didn't you go? Uh, because like... I I have to go to work. I can't take vacation days around here. Oh, that's convenient. Oh really? Yeah. I gotta work. What about other guys that are there? Has she named the guys? No, I don't know any names. How many? I have no idea. What's but there's what's a lot. The ratio? Of, there's a lot of people from the company that are going. Yeah, let me tell you something though. How many girls from the company are as pretty as Jess? I would imagine not many. I mean, I would imagine not many. Either. Either. I think that's. Uh, I would imagine a, not many. A fair either. assessment. Yeah. So now the guys that went are all going to be fixated on Jess. I'm, there's and they have a rapport already because it's been around the office. Yeah, they but I talk, have a rapport. They chat. You're old news. <laughs> oh, that. You're not exciting anymore and fun. You're kind of you're there, and and now she's in a whole nother 
like context with these people that she's friendly with already. There's no need to break any ice. This is fucking. They're drinking. Yeah, and they're they're out on the town in Brazil, a very erotic country. This is craziness. I mean, I will have to. I mean, I'll have to send a couple emails just to see what's up. Well, but you better is she sending gonna, pictures? She's gonna just be swept away in the energy down there. Yes, exactly. The That's energy. what happens. She has no iPhoto on her computer that she has with her, so she said she couldn't Why? send pictures. <laughs> <laughs> see, I have never heard of so many excuses for cutting off communication <laughs> with a fiance. It's on her work computer. Why would her work computer have iPhoto? Well, let me say hi to Paulo in Jersey. He knows a little bit about Brazil. Oh boy. Br uh, He's a Brazilian guy, matter of fact. Oh, Paul, great, 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 great. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. Hey, man, I go down there every other year. I have family down there. And as soon as they get a hold that she's American because they love Americans, dude, those guys, a lot of those guys that have game, man, they're all in shape. They do that martial arts. She's going to get laid. Oh, oh boy. No. Well, she doesn't look that American, though. They got to put her. She looks American. We'll find out, man. They'll uh, find out. You're crazy. She looks American. Uh, people are suggesting also that uh, that giant Jesus statue. Yeah. It's Jesus saying, down here, our dicks are this big. <laughs> oh, no. I hope not. So, That's so that big. <laughs> <laughs> so you I know, don't know. I mean, that's big. that right there is a little. Uh, Fuck, that's iffy. funny. I've never that's heard that one iffy. before. Bravo. He's got his arms all the way out. Very wide. Oh, yeah, that's very a wide. Big one. Yeah, yeah. If you're lucky, maybe they'll just use their tip. No, I don't think they'll use just anything. The tip. Just the tip. Uh, just the tip. Emmett in Bayside. <laughs> <laughs> that's really funny. Yeah, Jesus. That's huge. Sure Emmett, what's going one. on? Hey, hey, what's up, guys? Perfect. Listen, Yellow. Uh, I'm a long time listener. I just wanted to remind right. Sam. Yeah. Not the Brazilian wandering spider. Oh, the, the wandering spider. That's what Rogan yes. was talking about, right? Yes. Exactly. Makes them tell all horny. Tell, tell him to call his girl right away and don't go near any cats. Yeah, the well, cats. I mean, she's not going to go near stray animals. All right, well, you know what? She's acting funny when she gets home. You'll know <laughs> what happened. Whatever. I bet she'll be acting just I, the same. I would, I would, guys, I would, out. I would study her, uh, her gait when she gets off the plane. Oh, yeah. If she's walking like... John Wayne, oh. when he gets off the horses, <laughs> you know, he does that, like, oh, you know, that walk. Yeah. That's bad. Yeah, study her gait. She told me that she got me a souvenir yesterday. Oh, yeah? yeah. Oh, there's some guilt already. No, it's just she's getting that, something for a friend. Right Surprise? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know what it is. Chlamydia. I hope not. <laughs> Chlamydia. No, and she's meeting her best friend there. Who is a girl oh. who moved to Brazil for work? Uh huh. And they're just hanging out. So her best friend, this girl. Yeah. Does she have a boyfriend? Yes, she does. All right, and and they're just gonna be. It's just gonna be. Wait, the boyfriend down there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so you don't think the boyfriend's gonna have a few friends? Right, I was just getting what, there. What are you yep. crazy? You think they're just gonna go out and it'll be like. Her friend and the boyfriend and Jess, the third wheel, to just chit-chat? You don't think the guy's going to be like, let me grab my friend fucking, you know. It'll be large groups of people, I my think. My friend Juan. I don't, No, there'll be no Juans. I think Juan's going to dinner with them one night. I, I hope not. And it'll be like, your Portuguese is uh, quite fascinating. I'm <sighs> quite taken with you, Jess. Mm -hmm. And she'll be like, oh my God, nobody's ever paid this much attention to Jess, me. I uh, love dark skin, but like, like... Bright blue eyes. Oh, and, that's a terrible and combination. Just be like, oh, Jess, <laughs> oh, who is boy. this man you have at home? Oh, this is a very good question, He's right a, here. Me a boy, <laughs> Paul. Go ahead, Paul. Hey there, Paul. Yeah. We're talking about Brazil here. How mm -hmm. the hell do uh, nine people sleeping in an apartment in Brazil with the with the boss and his wife? This must be what is this no. real world apartment size? The I boss know. doesn't. A, he's a boss. He doesn't have one apartment. He has several places of residencies. Oh, uh, he owns a whole. He owns, he owns the whole building. No, he owns different residencies. So they're strewn all around Brazil. Well, I around see. the city, whatever city they're in. Yeah. Where are they? I don't know. I mean, Sao Paulo. She, I would assume so. How do you not know what city your girlfriend's in in Brazil? You know how big Brazil is. It's a oh, giant what, place. Once she gets. Rio. Rio. Oh, Rio. Oh, fuck. Oh, the worst <laughs> possible city you could have mentioned is Rio. Why? That's the place. That's where the animals are. That's the place. That's the place where it all goes down. That's the Vegas of fucking Brazil. I thought it was just like the capital. It's like the touristy area. Rio is where Carnival is. Rio laughs at Vegas. You ever watch Blame It on Rio? No. 
Yeah, oh, give, it a, should, give it a I, look. Give it a look. See I what mean, happens. I shouldn't have been watching Dancing with the Stars. See what happens how when you hot, go to Rio. How hot was that girl? Blame it on Rio. There was. Or um, am I dating myself now? I got to see what she looks like. There was like. Demi. Demi was in no, it. No, no, not her. And then the other one. Demi had her little titties at the time, and she right, would right. cover them up with her uh, hair on the beach because they went topless. Because by the way. The beaches down there are topless. Whoa. What's the temperature in uh, Rio? Let me let me punch up. <laughs> let me punch. Just punch. You can do up. that. You can get the temperature Rio just like that. She's not gonna go. Temp. She's not gonna go to the beach with her bathing Rich. suit on. Of course, Rory. she's not gonna go topless. Uh -oh. Of course, she will. <laughs> it's <Whoa>. absolutely perfect. <laughs> oh my God! Let's see. In Rio, it's seventy-three degrees. Is that right now? Mostly uh, cloudy. What's yeah. it going up to today? We're looking at eighty-two degrees. Yeah, uh, but there is a chance of rain. <laughs> Uh, no, that's just his tears. No. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a chance for everyone to go inside somewhere. Oh, oh, 82 oh. degrees in Rio. You know what those beaches are like? I'm probably Holy nice. I don't know. Shit, Danny, why don't you pop up uh, maybe a Google image of a of a, a Rio beach. beach? Yeah, let's see a, a Rio beach, beach of Rio and see what see and what, what it looks like. Danny doesn't have to search hard. This is gonna be a quick no. search just to show you what's going on down there. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, oh, my gosh. God. <laughs> that is paradise. Look at the thongs. The uh, multitude of thongs. Well, she didn't bring any bathing suits. It like doesn't that. matter. No. You don't think they sell that shit right there well, at the resort gonna... she's staying at? Oh, there oh, it is. <laughs> just women, women sitting in beach chairs with their tits just out because it's Hanging topless. out just smoking. She's there with her co-workers. She's not going to go naked on the beach. How well, do you know? 82 degrees? 82 Rio? degrees is not whether to get, get nude caught with up in the whole Look at that. Oh, These girls are pom-poms on the oh, beach in little bikinis. They look oh, my God. gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> Their asses are slamming. This is what the locals do, not the tourists. No, this is what everyone does. Mm -hmm. Brazil not, beach. Not with their look at the, Oh, yeah. Oh they God. don't look like... The second picture in doesn't look like locals. Yeah, no, they look, they're they pretty are, white. They are a little lighter oh, skin. My oh, my God. God. She doesn't oh, have any bathing God. suits like that. Well, she'll go naked. Yeah, She's not going to go <laughs> naked. <laughs> she'll just go naked. They do that there. They're allowed. <laughs> she'll just go naked. I yeah, understand yeah. they're allowed, but she'll be too bashful. Well, you know, caught up in the moment, a little bit of booze, right? There's going to be there's a... There's drinking in, involved. You think there's going to be a... Ah, uh, oh, what the hell. Yeah, this is a workcation, ah, they call it. Ah, what the hell. A I workcation. Don't so. I don't think so. You know, yeah, she'll be, she'll be thinking, and, and Juan is going to be like, Jess, why don't we go in the water a little bit? She goes, well, I oh. don't have my, ba my bathing suit, my bikini or anything. And he'll go... Yes, there is no need to be bashful. We we remove all clothing. <laughs> That's one. That's, That's one. one right Danny there. Danny just punched up a picture of a guy That's... like showering with oh, ripped God. abs, and he's totally nude. That's what you're gonna have to deal with. And, and he'll be like, just uh, just take off uh, the. We do not uh, pay attention to the confines of clothing here in Rio. And then here, have another shot. And she'll just take another shot. And before you know, she'll go. You know what? What the hell? I I only I'm only here once. Yeah, and then the clothes are off. He's he's got her in the water, like holding her waist, and she's got her hands on his big muscular there, shoulders. Is he also nude? He's nude. Ah, shit, nude. You got to say it like that, right? He's nude. nude. Yeah, because oh. that's going nowhere good. I'm getting a hard on. Are you? <laughs> With this story. <laughs> hey, Kevin from Connecticut, Anthony. <laughs> yeah. I did not know this, but Rio de Janeiro translates to River of Jism. I, oh, I didn't God. know that. De Janeiro is Portuguese. I, I had no, I I had no idea. Because it's like Dijonese. <laughs> right. Rio de Janeiro. You're making Iraq hungry. <laughs> You're nuts, man. Hey, by the wow. way, Michelle Johnson was in Blame It on Rio, and I'm also getting word that she did not age well. Really? And Michelle Johnson, uh, I think she had the heavies in Blame It on Rio. Is that her right there? Look at her bush. Oh, my Look God. Look at her bush. Ooh. She got some nice titties, though. Yeah, she, she showed them off in Blame It on Rio. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or at least you saw more oh, than what Demi God. Moore was doing. Is that going to... Uh, I don't think that so. going to be what... Uh, She's not on vacation. She's not by herself. She's with co-workers. She wants to make a good impression. Yes, it's Juan. I'm at my apartment. I know you're at yours with the workers, but uh, why don't you just come over for a little bit? Uh, I will play some music. I have a cooker's dinner. Oh. Real dinner, not chicken nice. fingers and popcorn. <laughs> and your, your fiancé. There's nothing else in the house, Juan. Real dinner, and I have some wonderful wine. That we can uh, sit yeah. back and listen to music, and you can tell me all about your life, and I will listen intently, 
looking directly into your eyes and listen to you. You probably don't have a man that listens to you, do you? I listen enough. What? I didn't hear you. <laughs> I'm not even paying attention to your fiance. <laughs> oh, you have to you have to go on camera with him? Okay, I'll stand back here and just pose for you. <laughs> Is that what was going on? Yes. Well, yes. I think she was looking at the cam. Let me not oh, really? behind this it. This guy's going to yeah. give you a little knowledge. His name's Dave in Jersey, and uh, I believe Dave's wife also liked to travel with, ah, okay. with her boss. That sounds good. Dave. Happens. Hey, fellas, how you this doing? This will give you some peace of mind, I, I bet. Thank yeah. God, Dave. Yeah, yeah this God will be some you. peace of mind for Sam. Go What's ahead, up, Dave? Dave? Yeah, my wife used to travel all the time with uh, with her boss and coworkers. Cool. And, um, and you know, you know, you know that start getting the, uh, you know, 8 o'clock at night, wouldn't be able to get in touch with her anymore. She'd start texting and emailing. Oh, boy. And, uh, you know, she, she wouldn't get back to me that night. Uh, you know, after a few months, it started getting suspicious. Um, say, uh, my wife's now ex-wife, so I find a lingerie in the bag. And, uh, oh, shit. Yeah, oh, she, was, uh, she was hitting the boss. Oh, geez. Well, oh. the boss is there with his family, his wife, and children. Yeah, yeah but all of a sudden, him. like, just has to, like, have Don't a little matter. meeting about yeah, bo work shit. I've met her boss. He's a very reserved, nice man. And then just knocks on the door, and he's in there in, in just a ball bag. Oh, God. <laughs> and by the way, and her friend knows that Jess is in a happy relationship, so I don't think she would take part in introducing Jess to Juan. Sam, she's in a relationship. Sam, let me tell you something. She's happy. Oh, let me tell you okay. something. Uh, a very smart man once told me they're all sisters. Oh, no, boy. She, all sisters. Oh, shit. She wouldn't introduce they're Jess to Juan. All sisters. I don't know how Juan would even come about. David in Boston. David. Hey, come morning, about boys. everywhere. Um, so she left the Roberts Maker 6000 at home, correct? Yes, correct. Um, how about the uh, Balloon Knot 6000? Did she bring that with her? Oh. Well, that's it. I mean, I don't know. what if That's referring to oh. a part of her body. You can't remove that. That's a dumb question, for oh. starters. And didn't uh, David Letterman also bring his family on a trip at the same time with his fiance or his girlfriend? I don't know what David Letterman does. You could ask David Letterman that question. Are you going to be asking uh -oh. a lot of questions when she gets back? I mean, after this conversation, there'll be more questions than there was. Okay, that's I good. definitely have to start uh, getting her on webcam a little more How frequently. How long is she there for? Nine, Nine days. Nine days total. Nine days. Let's look at the temperatures. 82, 82, 81, 86, <laughs> <Okay>. 84. <laughs> All right. Oh, wow, that's uh, <laughs> just a few days in advance. Just looking. The weekend's looking great, by the way. Well, she's back on Sunday. Yeah, well, Friday's 86. Oh. Saturday's 84. <laughs> uh, whatever. Why is really she there for the weekend? Nice. They work in the weekend? Yeah, why not or come back like, on Friday? Well, I mean, What's they, going on on the weekend? Really? Why they, not just come back after work Friday? They flew down Friday night. After so, work. So, so two weekends down in Brazil. Right. So she's been there since Friday night. What the fuck is that about? But they figure... They, so Friday night, they got right to work. Yeah, I mean, they got a lot of stuff going on. Let me say hi to uh, John it's in tough. Jersey. John. Hi, hey, John. Hey, this, this reminds me of the line out of True Romance. They did so much fucking, they changed the bloodlines forever. Oh. Oh, boy. fucking slammed. Well, right oh. now she's not. It's early in the morning, she's first of all. She's getting her oh, fucking God. balloon on pound it. I mean, there's no, I don't think that's happening. Hey, there's somebody, uh, yeah, I, I kind of like this theory. Uh, did your mom send Jess to Brazil? Of course not. We, all know, we all know the hate your mom has <gasps> oh, for Jess. Oh, yeah. No. And this, wow. This was a way of getting Jess out of little Sammy's life. As a matter of fact, Jess has been corresponding with the family, and on that family email Guilt. is my mom. Yeah, guilt. And my um, she's on a work trip. How could my mom send her on a work trip? My mom is very fond your of Your mom Jess. is sending Juan in. <laughs> I bet you your mom sends Juan in. If I there find out that's true, purpose. I'm going to be super pissed at her. Hello. But she's not going to do your laundry, so you're going to just take it. He's going to sweep her right no. up off her right. feet. Oh, there, there, remember that one? <laughs> that's Juan the again. Juan there's Juan. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> that is Juan. the perfect picture you could have found, Danny. <laughs> it is so... Oh. <laughs> Who took a picture of Juan when he was getting out of the shower? He's still showering. That yeah, curtain's open for... Dude, oh. That curtain's he's open for like... Yet. Why and, don't we both shower off? And, and, oh. and for Rio, that's out of shape, by the way. Yeah, yeah, that guy is that like the laughing stock of Rio. Yeah, he's out of man. He's in way better shape than me. Let me say hi to Sean in North Carolina, Aunt. Sean. <laughs> morning, boys. Good morning. Uh, I bet Jeff gives up the balloon knock to the first guy who doesn't know what WrestleMania is. <laughs> oh, God. They won't be speaking wrestling. Well, let me tell you why that's dumb. WrestleMania is a worldwide phenomenon. 
everybody knows what, does what WrestleMania your fiance, is. What, what does he like? What does he like to do with you? Romance, things like that. And then Jess will be like, oh, he, he watches wrestling. I took it to the Royal Rumble. And and she'll be he'll be like oh so he is an athlete a wrestler much like we are down here in Brazil, like uh, you know the, uh, no no professional wrestling you know Vince McMahon the <laughs> WWE and he'd be like oh I I am so sorry <laughs> why would he say that it's and very be, and she'll just say thank you <laughs> no because he feels her pain and you know what a thank you is in Rio right yes just a, remember a, what a, a hello is oh boy. Well, I don't think it's based on much. Let me say hi to Eric in uh, Colorado. Eric. Colorado. Good evening, boys. I got two things. Uh, first off, Sam, yeah. an international calling package for your cell phone is only thirty nine ninety nine oh. for either Verizon or AT&T. Forty dollars is a lot of money in these times. The economy is tough. Uh, yeah, sure it is. Uh, and secondly, <laughs> my, wife works with three, my wife works with three Brazilian men who are in their early 20s, and when they first started, all I heard for two weeks was how hot they were. Oh, well, obviously, God. your oh. wife is not happy in her marriage. Oh, how no. How you like them apples? Yeah. I don't think those apples are very tasty. That's right. Mm -hmm. Unhappy wife is not my problem. Yeah, but she heard this from her coworkers, who are all young women, also who are married. Many of them are married women oh. too. Many of them are also unhappy because there aren't a lot of guys who are as great as me. <laughs> Kevin's saying Sam has seven radio gigs and he can't afford a <laughs> listen. International. The, the funny thing about radio gigs, they're not as lucrative as one would have thought. <laughs> you would That's imagine, a crazy right? thing. But radio gigs, a lot yeah, of them. Uh, yeah. Wow. Well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Matt in Indiana. Matt. <laughs> Matt. Nothing. Uh, uh, thank you, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, he's got it. Uh, he only gets paid for half of a show. I get paid for basically half a gig. Uh, All right, well, I mean, the phones are just lit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. People trying to just uh, make you feel better. They're trying to help they've done a really sh a shit job of it, oh, I'll tell you that now. Much. They're just trying to help, Sam. Don't, be, don't start letting your anger out on the callers because you're mad that your fiancé is in Brazil well, with Juan. I have a happy relationship with my fiancé, <laughs> and just because these callers leave their wives and, and significant others dissatisfied, don't take it out Whoa. on me. Do you guys That's want right. a really bad phone call? I, I've been trying to keep it course, slightly respectable. the streak now. No. You mean slightly? You've been talking no. about balloon knots. There's yeah, that's nothing true. respectable. I have been keeping it respectable. You just said that. I have been keeping it respectable. Sam. What do they do? Do you want a bad one or not? Uh, my no is what I'll say. I guess. For, I mean, for the radio show, would, would you like a bad one? Yeah, we'll do a bad one. Okay. Yeah, we'll do one. <laughs> All right. For All the right. show. For the show. For uh, the bit. John and Philly, go ahead. Sam. Yeah, John. Yeah, it's nine days. Plenty of time. Don't worry about it. Okay. I think there's plenty of time. She's going to have a nice abortion. She'll have everything all. Oh, oh what on earth? Oh, all the distasteful wow. things that wow. somebody could say. That's bad. <laughs> That's bad. I mean, there's so many elements of that that wouldn't happen. Oh my God. I mean, That's just the bad. first the act and then no protection. It just it's a horrible thing to say. It's yeah. not true. Oh, this is a very good question uh, coming so. in from Gary in New York. We got food in front of us. We got to take a break. But Gary, mm. go ahead. What happens <laughs> when uh, Juan asks? Asked her in the office to take some dictation. Oh, First of all, not the oral dictation. She doesn't oh, take dictation. dictation. And second of all, Juan is not her boss. It's her. Well, she is a skirt. She's a secretary, right? Yeah. She's not a secretary. She's not a secretary? Oh. No. And she doesn't take dictation. No? No. Executive assistant, all right? What happens when the pool boy asks for dictation? Assistant to the assistant manager. <laughs> <laughs> I won't get into too many details because uh -huh. her profession will be revealed that way. Well, we don't want that a... happening. Right. Yeah. All right. Well, the best of luck to you two after she and gets back. Juan is not her boss. He's her He's girlfriend's guy. boyfriend's fictional friend. Fictional friend. Uh, when they all, when the four of them just go out. For was, drinks, you know, a couple And he drinks. shows her the town. Oh, my God. He's not going to show her the town. And that's not her. <laughs> yeah, Neither one of them. That's Michelle Johnson from Blame It on Rio. Yeah, but Michelle Johnson can do what Michelle Johnson does. That has nothing to do with... Demi looks pretty good yeah, there. She looks good. Yeah, she but looks, she looks you could tell she was her. becoming a star because she really covered up her boobs with her hair in front of her yeah, face. The other one you could tell was desperate. She pulled yeah, her hair yeah. all the way back so you could see those <laughs> big, big and heavies. But those girls aren't there with their co-workers trying to make a good impression. That's... You just... That's... You know That's what kind how of, you walk around down You know there. what kind of bush is in Demi's bikini, by the way? <laughs> we have all seen that shot. 
Damn. Some say that. There was a lot of tit in Blame It On Rio. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Some say that uh, picture's fake of Demi. No, can't be. Well, that's a, first of all, and it's fictional, that film, by the way. It's not a documentary. Well, uh, that's pretty well, accurate. It's, it's just it, something it really that is, is. It's, it's meant to tantalize American men into thinking Titulate a certain way. Tantalize. Titulate. I, I miss uh, movies that used to just show breasts for no reason. I know. They, they really have taken that out of the movies for some great. reason. Every well, movie they didn't had. take it out of real life. What do you mean? Well, Dan and Rio, people do this shit. <laughs> I don't think, I mean... Camo. Camo. That's for... Oh, you want to talk to Renardo? Renardo. Yeah, I'll talk to Renardo. 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 What's up? See. Good morning, gentlemen. Hey. Buenos dias. Yeah. I, I just want to tell Sam how beautiful Jess was last night. <laughs> she She's sleeping right now, and I don't want to wake her, but you have the most wonderful girl. You must take better care of her. Oh, that's nice. You don't, you don't know <laughs> that's Renardo. Nice. He's taking care of her. Don't be mean to her. Renardo has, doesn't know. And he doesn't have an this, international this, cell plan either. This, he couldn't be making this call. Uh -huh. This does bring up one of our classic stories that I swear I, I just got to tell again, and with the help of Anthony, of course. The, the Turks and Caicos trip. I'm not oh, saying you're... Oh, God. I, Sam, I will step out of character for a second and say, Thank I'm God. not saying your girl is this girl. Right. But we do remember a time when we all flew down on a charter to Turks and Caicos, and we saw this girl say goodbye to her boyfriend, and then she's on the flight. And then we're at Club Med in uh, Turks and Caicos, okay? And now we're on a booze, what was it called, a booze? Booze cruise. It was a booze cruise with yep. a boat. Yep. Oh, right. Okay, that's what it's a boost cruise hard. is. Yeah, boost okay, cruise I'm without sorry. a boat. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. called I'm sorry. a boost swim. So all of a sudden, we see this girl, I'm like, oh, and I remember the, with the mental image of this girl saying goodbye to her boyfriend at JFK. Oh, I swear this is as true as it gets. Oh, we, yeah, this, this and gets will back so me up bad. On it. So now we're on the booze cruise, <laughs> where we go to a beach and play all these fucked up games, cake and stands. Just drinking. Drinking, uh, yeah. It was an obstacle course, but you had to drink on the way there and yep. back. Everyone got so fucked up. Okay, we get back on the the booze cruise. The girl is on the booze cruise with us. Uh, we're with our girls at the time, okay? The captain, I swear this is the God's honest truth, all starts, starts making time with this girl. And, yep. and just has his arm around her. Yeah, uh, a little flirting. This, this and is the she's short hammered. version of the story. Just talking. Halfway yep. back to Club Med, she's blowing the guy in front of all of us, but in a way where you can't really see, but you know what's going on. You know on. why? Because uh -huh. uh, the way the, the captain's wheel was set up it had like a podium thing in front of it and he was standing at this captain's wheel she was underneath the podium thing blowing the captain of the ship as Sam, he's as he's fucking you. navigating through a storm to get us back <laughs> no. to the fucking uh, resort but the best part we see the storm clouds they yeah. are getting really dark yes he slowed the fucking boat yeah down. he didn't want to get back fast so he slowed the boat way down because to finish his blowjob while we're ready to get fucking swamped by this caribbean storm right with the lightning and all because the booze cruise just went down the beach yeah. it wasn't a it wasn't a far but he needed a little more time it wasn't that far the boat ride yeah so he slowed down and me and Aunt, i swear i remember looking at him and we're looking at the fucking clouds like hurry up and come you <laughs> asshole i don't want to get hit by lightning and then uh, uh the tag on the story is once we all went home yeah we saw her again get off the plane and, and run into and the arms of her boyfriend lovingly well, into the arms of her boyfriend like sweetheart oh, i missed you and he's like baby and they were just so in love with captain fucking blowjob uh, blowjob <laughs> with captain blowjob on her uh, on her mouth that is a true story. It certainly is. I believe the story. That is a true... But Jess is not going on any booze cruises, and she doesn't drink to excess. But I, I, I took your girl out of it. I, it just reminded me of right. my yes, story. Yes, yes. Right. She's there for work purposes. Well, I'm like, okay. what a fucking whore. Why? A, a big event happening, so I, a lot has I'm to get sure done. It is. I think she made believe her her sunglasses fell. Oh, I gotta find my sunglasses. Yeah. Oh my god. Next thing you know, the we boat is barely like, moving. We saw her fucking hands on each side of his thighs. What a nightmare. Like, oh, it was just, oh my god, she's blowing the then, captain. Then she came up wearing his captain's hat. <laughs> oh. It was so, stereoty <laughs> so, so stereotypical. All right, well, we should take Fantastic. a break. Fantastic. Yeah, let's uh, eat. Dear. One of my favorite stories of all time. Juan gotta eat. It's like, holy shit. That is a nightmare. Yeah. Holy shit. It's bad. And our, there is no one. Our the way. Turks and Caicos oh. stories are some of the best stories ever. Oh yeah, that could just, be that could be easily a chapter in a book. 
Yeah, I remember when my ex-wife, uh, wife at the time, ex -wife, future ex-wife, <laughs> went decided she wanted to go parachuting. She wanted to go skydiving, tandem skydiving. And I just saw her launch herself out of a plane, saw this little dot. And I was just like, oh, God, please don't open. Don't fucking open. Just I was looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. I see the canopy open, and I'm just like, fuck. I went right, right before she even hit the beach, I went right to, back to the bar. Yeah. But she's disappointed. Fuck. You would have sacrificed the other guy. Fuck the other yeah. guy. Who yeah. cares? But, you know, <laughs> but it's all about these girls. It's all about getting close to the guys. Yeah, down yeah, there. yeah. You come down from. He's in a virtual butt fuck with her. Right. You know, a tandem parachuting. Yeah. You obviously didn't care, but I'm sure there's a bunch a of <laughs> bunch of uh, guys that do care yeah. that their wives or girlfriends are doing that exact fucking tandem jump. Here's the way you we <laughs> hold on. And he grabs her tits, just fucking, you know, right, right. wraps his leg around. And, yeah. Yeah. I what, keep my she's... penis out for another thing for you to grab she's gonna, on to. She's going to say no to the tit grab? She's what? No. A couple thousand feet in the air, scared well, shitless. Of course she's going to go for the tit, uh, allow yeah. the tit grab. Jess is not parachuting in Brazil. I know I should have went to the shoot packing class that they had that day. <laughs> and then my girl, I, my girl at the time uh, decided she needed to hang out with the the, uh, the trapeze guy. The trapeze dude. What do you mean hang out? And we're all hanging out at Club Med, and I'm like, I'm I'm drunk and tired. I'm trying to hang in there as long as I can. She's got all the energy in the world because she's got trapeze guy that's showing French. Uh, sh uh, French trapeze French guy that's showing guy. interest. Uh, and then we try to do the trapeze. <laughs> so so it's like we just look like like we're struggling uh, to just stay on the thing. Yeah. And I was scared. The to chicks wa are watching us look like assholes, and then French guy gets up there. He's one hand He's doing dances and doing stuff. Fucking tumbles on the trapeze, grabbing the other trapeze. It's their. It's how they work. It's it. their gig. It's how they work it. They get the guys to try the trapeze because then they look like complete idiots. Yeah. Or we look like a and they look like idiots because that's what happened to us. They're the alpha males. I had a beer belly at the time. I'm upside down with my fucking just beer. Belly, just hanging out. Oh yeah, I think Ant's ball bag was hanging out because he was oh, fucking was just, hanging the wrong way. Had the sh just loose shorts on. You're upside down. You can't fucking I, go over the top of the trap. I remember I was scared just walking up that tiny little ladder. Oh, and he's just like dun 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 dun. Right, right, right. Gets right up there. So then, then I then I hear some commotion outside my fucking room. And there's there's my girl at the time with trapeze guy. He's walking her home. Oh no, oh, boy! French trapeze guy at oh, three, four boy. in the morning. That's bad news. Because I couldn't hang in there anymore. Oh boy. Yep. yep. Who knows? These Who fuckers knows? at Club Med, man. I'm telling anyone, Club watch out. Head. That's right. What you're getting all kinds of blowjobs. Exactly. Blowjobs. <laughs> Club Head. Captain fucking blowjob. Everybody's getting just, head. Captain blowjob. Just fucking Captain blowjob. Getting blowjobs everywhere. Because you go down there with your horribly white middle of the winter body. Yep. And these guys are just waiting for the hot chicks. They don't. They don't care if they're married or in a relationship. They don't care if the guys are even there. Sucking dick they know like how to, crazy. Yeah, they know how to work every situation. Yep. And you're. You're gonna lose every time, and you couldn't be like, "Wow, you're a hardworking guy." That's like, okay, I, I could afford a little vacation, yeah, a little vacation, middle of fucking winter, white, pale body, not a not a muscle because you don't have time to work out. No, and then they're fucking ripped, tan, and and they want your chick, and if they want your chick, there's nothing you could do. It didn't work for you, you trying to get your chick back. You could have been like, "I'll be yeah. honest, I don't know what happened." Alcohol. To, to, to this day, I don't know what happened. Who he's knows? good at trapeze, but he's not that good on the air. You don't think that would have made a difference? No. Remember the big black guy with, the, got. with the exotic name that every girl fawned Hendel? over down there? You even remember his name? <laughs> he was gorgeous. <laughs> oh, Hendel. He remembers his name. I remember this Hendel. This is like 12 years ago, and you remember his name. Yeah. Hendel was uh, this These... black like Jamaican guy that just... he. He swept every girl off their feet. Is every... a character of one based on Hindle? Uh, he had girls yeah, just hanging be. off yeah. his cock as he walked. Yeah, this yeah. guy was ridiculous. How he was? He was? He was? He was putting up numbers, man. Um, oh yeah, yeah. It's all putting up some about. fucking all star well, numbers. He'd pick, he'd pick a fucking uh, a, a limping gazelle. Yeah. and just strike. It was done. Makes me glad Jess is not at a resort. Well, and then you got the guy. Rio is a resort. The whole it is, city. I've never been. Well, it is. Then, then yeah. there's the guy where you, you know, you go for a little uh, fucking snorkeling. Oh God! And, and they make you put like little floaties on and make you look as 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 <laughs> as. Uh, 
Sorry. Stupid. Sorry, gay guys. As gay, gay. as possible. Oh, and then yeah. he, like, of course, he just jumps in with nothing, which we could do, too. <laughs> But why? Wh but, then, but then you'd look like a man. Yeah, then we would look like men. Exactly. Our snorkel's got our lips all red. <laughs> yeah. You're like, kind of spit coming out from your snorkel. It's not the mask, down. The mask is pulling your eyes back. It's all sideways and full of water. And then he's just standing on the deck of the boat with nothing but a little fucking Speedo on. And he goes, I'll be right back. And he does a perfect dive in the water. He disappears underwater for longer than any of us can hold our breath. He comes back up and he's going, Here's a starfish. <laughs> he comes up with fucking aquatic life. That and he's like, don't touch it when you're down there. I know how to. All right. And the girls are getting fucking moist in their bikinis on the boat. Uh, he did a fucking, with that shit. He did a jackknife dive like from the fifties <laughs> off of the deck of the boat. Fucking comes we all up, look like fruits. Comes up with a knife in his teeth. That yeah, type yeah, of guy. yeah. That guy. So it may not even matter if I was there with her. There's not a lot exactly. you can do. Exactly. That's the point we're making. Yes, and then you're not, so it's even worse. That's the point. But she's I'm not making. at a resort. Like I said, Rio is a resort. Mm. It's like saying she's not at a resort in Vegas. Right. She's right. staying at a condo in the middle on the strip. <laughs> but it's not a resort. It's not a resort. That's <laughs> fucking Rio. Yeah. Bing, ding, 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 ding. She's just fucking going crazy here in that shit. I, I can't believe you remember Hendel. And just saying that name. I will guarantee yeah. we'll get phone calls about Hendel after oh, the break. Oh, that fucking <laughs> Hendel? Because a lot of New Yorkers go down a fucking club. I then. remember him. I remember that He's motherfucker. Oh, God dude. fucked my chick. <laughs> Knocking him back left and right. Why don't people yeah. like and that I'm not end up getting beers. killed by somebody? Like, uh, I don't know. Uh, know why? Because no, yes. what, by the time you're on to his game, the bus is out front taking you're you back gone. to the fucking local yeah. airport. Yep. And then they see the new fish come <laughs> in. <laughs> Just long more. enough. Right. Just long enough. Right. They usually strike around Thursday, and you're leaving Saturday, man. Thursday's yep. a bad day at Club Med for some guys. Did you feel unsure when she came back with the French guy? French trapeze uh, guy. Extremely suspicious. And you're just yeah, like, what yeah. The fuck? I think there was even an email correspondence that went oh. after the fact. Oh. Just like, shit. I don't think oh. I ever brought that one up. I'm like, why are you emailing the guy? Oh. She was like, I just like trapeze. Yeah. She was talking about tight ropes. Should have, been, should have been a sign, my friend. Should have been a sign. Jesus. Well, there's no tight ropes in Rio. Huh? They don't have tight ropes in Rio. No. What? All right. Tight rope walking. All right. Okay. <laughs> this can't be true. <laughs> Paul in Jersey, are you just? Please tell me you're doing this for the radio. Did we lose him? Fuck. Hope not. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, he waited too long. He said his girlfriend went down to Jamaica. Yeah. And now he. Has a mixed child. <laughs> no. A mixed race child. <laughs> I need to now know if he was just of doing that for the radio. It happens. Come on, that happens. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> little Hendel. <laughs> He's got to raise little Hendel. Hendel. <laughs> How many kids do you think Hendel has? Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> His seed went everywhere. And he was he was as black as night, man. So there'd be no mistaking really that. Really dark. He yeah. was as black as the yep. night sky. And it gets dark down there because there's no cities around. Right. That's yeah. how black this guy was. Yep. So even mixed, it would still be dark skin. Oh, oh my yeah. God. That white ain't fucking holding a candle to uh, the blackness. So you'd have like a dark skin mixed baby. Very. And you would know. It you'd was know. Hindo. You'd I, know. I God damn it, Hindo. <laughs> you don't remember shit, Ann. I can't believe you remember his name. Uh, there's certain things. You that remember just TV pop shows, in. movies, and all that, but you don't remember shit about your life. You remember yeah. it in a second, too. You remember that guy? You mean Hindo? Hindo. <laughs> <laughs> That son of a bitch. <laughs> that motherfucker. <laughs> he would get the girls around the... They would have little fires at night around the bar area and the pool area. He would get the girls around and play yeah. drinking games. And, what the hell? And you would have Life to, of the party. And you would have to sit there and just try to survive going, it could be my girl tonight. Yeah, yeah. I got to stay up until the fucking sun comes up. And you can't go up to your girl and be like, he sh don't play with him. Don't, don't do that. No, because then it's like, why just are you having fun? Yeah. Fuck you. You fucking don't. And then it makes it worse. And Hindle's like, yeah. And Hindle sees that. Too. Hendel hears that in his ear, like he tilts his head sideways, <laughs> and like, huh? huh? I hear, I hear, fucking discontent yeah. uh, between some of these couples. And then you would see the husbands and the boyfriends one by one going to bed. You would try to hang in there as yeah. long as you could. He could outweigh anybody. But yeah, man, mm. 
He slept all day. What, what did he have to do? <laughs> but get ready to, you know, <laughs> grab somebody's broad. Fucking Bang handle. tourist girls. <laughs> yes. Fucking sprint at him like a cheetah. <laughs> all right. You ready to eat? Uh, yeah, Hendel got to eat. <laughs> he does indeed. Uh, Let's get boy. our eat on, man. Yeah. We'll uh, we'll talk about vacation uh, dudes next, I think, because now they're calling. Oh, yeah. oh are they? Oh, it's wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay. Oh, no. One before we go. Mike uh, in Philly. Mike. Mike? Mikey. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. I, uh, I was, uh, 10 years ago, I was in school. My girl went down to Jamaica, and all of a sudden she came back. My dick started to itch. Found out that it ended up being chlamydia. Oh, oh, no. oh boy. So you came back with a, uh, a sexually transmitted disease. Well, she possibly did and passed it on to this guy. Yeah. Well, it ain't going to happen in my case. Oh, boy. Why is that? Because my fiance is satisfied. She's uh, true blue. That's right. She's very happy. You should have made her put on a rape condom before she went down. Oh. I, a I, dental I, dam. I trust yeah, how happy she is in her relationship yeah. that she wouldn't want to jeopardize that yeah, with some time, yeah. fling with Juan. When was the last time you made her really happy and laugh and smile? And you should see the words I sent in these emails. <laughs> okay, emails. That's crazy. she reads these emails and her heart is a flutter. I'm like a poet. Yeah, yeah. You're a poet. <laughs> An right. e-poet. Here's one, and if I haven't been to these islands, I. I wouldn't believe right. it. Right. But I've been, and I believe these stories. You've seen this stuff Go firsthand. Go ahead, Paul. <laughs> Yo. Hey, Paul. Hey, what's Go up, ahead. man? Uh, yeah, this guy I work with, he, uh, or used to work with, he's not there, but he, uh, he went down with his girlfriend in Jamaica or some shit, and he was with, uh, he's really meek kind of a guy, uh -huh. and he ends up, she's a party girl, and then she ends up saying she's staying longer because she had time off, and she never comes back. Meanwhile, she's sending pictures. <laughs> Of herself, like four big black guys on his catamaran, and we're all kind of uh, eyes uh, wide open. Like, are you kidding? Uh, 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 four big black guys on a catamaran. You don't want to ever get that picture. <laughs> oh uh, god! She never came back. No, and she had her hair all done in dreadlocks. Oh <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, boy. yeah. I I will not deny any of nope. these stories. Nope, I, I saw it for it. myself a few times. I believe man. it, and I I saw like. How they get uh, the voodoo in their own heads, these girls. Yeah, yeah. My girl they're at the easily, time. She got the voodoo. Well, thank God I'm not meek. Easily influenced, these girls. So easily influenced. It's the atmosphere. It's the drink. It's the partying. It's everything. All right, yeah. we'll break. Maybe we'll take some more Club Med phone yeah, calls because right. Club Med is, oh, yeah. is the shit. Hendel's the man. Hendel. Hendel. He remembers the name. Hendel. And it's definitely his it's name, too. It's all good. It's all good. That's he would what walk he around going, time. it's all good. He's probably trying to be good. like cool with you. And He's that. like, your chick is blowing him, and he'd just look at you. You'd be like, wait, wait, my chick's blowing you. Right. And he'd be like, it's all good. And you're like, yeah, it's all good. Don't worry about it. I'll just grab another Sam Adams. But, but my girl was out till four in the morning with you guys. What the fuck? It's, yeah, it's, it's all good. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Everything was all good. Oh, okay. So I guess it was okay. It's all good then. Vacation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.